Well, masks are now optional on New York mass transit. Governor Hochul announced the change on Wednesday while getting a shot of the new COVID booster. CBS News Elijah Westbrook is live at Penn Station for the first morning rush with no masks required today. Elijah. That's right. Good morning, Chris and Mary. Well, I can tell you the MTA says only about 64% of its riders were wearing masks in the first place just over the past few months. They say in recent days it's been getting pretty tough for them to enforce masking when most of the city has been doing away without it. It's the first morning rush in more than two years where riders who use MTA won't have to wear a mask. It's optional, as you can see by these signs that will be posted throughout the system in the days ahead. I don't wear the mask on the subway. I'm a mask on person. Um, don't want to spread COVID. Care about the people around me. I personally don't like masks. I'm still wearing mine. Mixed reaction, as you saw there, about the changes. It comes after an announcement made by Governor Hochul just yesterday, who says there's a significant enough decline in hospitalizations to safely allow commuters to make their own choice. The governor made the announcement while in East Harlem Wednesday, moments after receiving her booster shot, something health officials say others need to do in order to keep moving the state back to normal. We have a booster that is tailored to the dominant variant that's circulating. If you are unclear about whether to get a booster. If it's been more than two months since you got your last shot, you're 12 or over, uh, you should get boosted. And this time it can be with a booster that we think will provide people with a lot more protection. The White House COVID-19 response team says the U.S. is moving towards an annual COVID-19 shot for most Americans, similar to how the flu shot is handled with the yearly vaccine matching current strains in circulation. Now, these days, it's pretty simple to get a booster shot. Of course, you can call your doctor or check out your local health department and pharmacy. Now, by the way, listen up. You still have to wear a mask in places like nursing homes, hospitals, and certain medical facilities. So that's certainly something you want to keep in mind there. But for now, we're live here from a uh, mask-free Penn Station. I'm Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Okay, Elijah, thank you.